Thank you. William. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We've been talking about the retained crews, both in Uppingham and Oak. And obviously there are difficulties there keeping the strength of those crews up to the required numbers. There are, yes. Yep, there are challenges with all of our retained crews, including those two. And at times, Oakham have been called out simply because there were not the men in Uppingham who were available to man that engine. I, 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 I apologise for correcting you, but I feel I need to, to in the interest of my, my firefighters, men and women. Yes. Sorry? Men and women. women. We have women firefighters as well. Did I say that you didn't? No, you said men. I was just... Well, I'm afraid a woman, part of a woman, is man. Okay, but I feel I have to correct I'm sorry. I'm very I apologise. I, 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 you know, I, I think far highly of the ladies around here than of the gentlemen. I'm quite terrified of <laughs> um, During the consultation talks, was the cutting of the crews from five to four discussed? Sorry, I, I was just... During thinking. the consultations that you've had around the council? Well, we are in the consultations now, so yes. And it is early ones. Yes. Were the fact that you wanted to cut the crews from five to four openly discussed? Absolutely. And, and want is, is, is again an interesting descriptor for the fact that the proposals show a cut from a standard crew of five to a standard crew of four has been openly discussed at virtually every consultation meeting that we've held throughout the period, yes. And these, the consultations, the people invited, were they open meetings or were they by invitation? Uh, by invitation, both internally and externally. And I presume you used external consultants? On some of them, but not all so of them. So there was budget costs there? No, no, and no. We, we use them on a, a small minority of the consultative exercises that we've done. And when they were deciding who to invite, were retired and active firefighters excluded from such discussions? Not to my knowledge. To my knowledge, they were. Not to my knowledge. What, what, what was happened, if you're referring to the, the consultations carried out by ORS, Opinion Research Services, it was a decision made by the fire authorities to have some independence into the consultation process was important. So for a small number of the consultation exercises, we use the company. And they have an industry standard way of inviting effectively a random selection of people from the area that they're in. So, that would never deliberately exclude any group. It, it may